Upon Heavens on the Go, Sunday, May 15th, 2022. Topic, Church Worker or Faithful Laborer. Memory Verse, Matthew 9, 38. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Bible reading. Matthew 9, 35 to 38. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep, having no shepherd. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. The Message it is not difficult to find church workers, but it is difficult to find faithful laborers. The church is constantly teeming with men and women who are interested in working for the Lord. However, the Lord is not looking for workers who only want to show the world that they are serving God. Instead, He seeks faithful laborers who will indeed be committed to winning souls into the kingdom through their various services in the church. In the memory verse for today, Jesus tells his disciples to pray to God to send laborers to do the work. Jesus is interested in people who will be committed to the saving of the lost. They are the kind of workers who, even if they are cleaners in church, will be praying over each seat in the church auditorium as they clean, praying that those who sit there will be transformed by the word of God. Such workers will pray that anybody who will attend the service that day without having given his or her life to Christ will do so before leaving the church. Such people, as ushers, will not only be interested in looking good on Sundays, but praying to God to direct each person to the seat where the word can reach them without any hindrance or distraction. People who do everything with one goal in mind will be brought into the light of Christ. There is this testimony of a man of God who died and entered into heaven. While he was on earth, he will conduct services, crusades, and meetings, and there will be so many miracles, healings, and such a heavy presence of the Holy Spirit. In heaven, he was shown why he had always experienced such success in his ministry. There was an old woman who always followed him about whenever he was holding a service. She would begin to intercede for him until the end of the meeting. This woman was so consecrated to God that her prayers were always like thunder in heaven. Jesus attributed the success of this man's ministry to the silent labor of the faithful old woman. God is looking for soul winners, not just busy workers. God wants all men to be saved. 1 Timothy 2, 4. Are you in the workforce of the Lord? If not, you need to sign up today. If you are already in the Lord's workforce, make sure you are a faithful laborer. Prayer point. Heavenly Father, please make me a faithful laborer in your vineyard. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, please make me a faithful laborer in your vineyard, in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year, Ezra 4 to 7. Him for today, when we walk with the Lord.
The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.